thought that you just wanted to be friends. I don't think we can ever be just friends. Well, how did you guys keep that chemistry? Because it's just so clear on screen. But we always say we don't know. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think it's just good casting. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah, we really got really lucky with that because they didn't have chemistry reads together. They both had them with other people. Their chemistry literally carries the whole film. <laughs> One of the most talked about scenes, guys. The lake scene. It is steamy AF, like legit. It's <laughs> it's just one of those things I'm like, okay, you can't look away, but you should look away. <laughs> I mean, can you talk to me about filming that one? Were there any behind the scenes secrets that we would want to know about this steamy scene? The snakes? There was a, a, a snake story where um, basically we found there was a snake that was, uh, there's like a fish swimming through the water upside down and obviously everyone's thinking that's not how fish swim. Comes closer to the bank and it's just like a huge meter long snake oh with a fish in his mouth. And the snake lady whose name I forgot uh, <laughs> just, snake just, came, yeah. Yeah, just came and she had tools to pick up snakes and just dropped the tools and oh. lent in with her hand and just pulled out the snake. And I was there like picking my drawer up off the floor because you, <laughs> you don't really get that in London. Um, but yeah, when she picked up I was like don't tell Joe because I just kind of assumed that you wouldn't want to know there's a snake in water that we're getting into. Yeah, um, how do you even get back into character after that? But she's Australian, so <laughs> she's Australian, kind of used right? to it. Although you were scared of all the water bugs. But there's in, a difference in between a cockroach and a fly a and something bug. that's like... <laughs> then like... What, a what big, makes that noise? You know, just things that like... <laughs> I didn't know that noise either. <laughs> like get into your food and they can get into your clothes and like a big animal. It's like this, it's like, it's like the size of like a golf ball, it's not... Yeah, but it could like still crawl into yeah. you. Well anyway, she's not scared of snakes <laughs> right. and that didn't matter, but that was cool. I feel like after After, you guys are going to be the most talked about heartthrobs. Like this Aww. is one of those movies that we need for the summer, but I want to get your take on when you first found out that uh, this is going to be an adaptation of a Harry Styles fan fiction. What was your reaction to landing this role? My agent told me that I didn't get it at first. Well, he took me to like a, we went to like a cafe and sat down and chatted about a couple of things. He was like, unfortunately, you haven't got it. And I was like, you wouldn't invite me here to say that. And then he said I did, so I was just like, oh, you... So he tricked you. Yeah, yeah. But no, after <laughs> that fun. settled down, I was obviously over the moon. Oh, my goodness. I had a few meetings and stuff before I got the call that I officially got the role. So I felt like I sort of knew it was going to happen before it did. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was happy. Nothing could ever change the way that I feel about you. Well, let's go ahead and, um, and talk about first, because obviously this touches on a lot of firsts. Uh, these are like 20-somethings going off to college, and they're really exploring just like how life changes mm. for Tess when she goes off mm -hmm. to college. Can you talk about how you relate to those experiences and, and maybe your first heartbreaks that you've experienced? I don't, I don't have an experience that's, that's, you know, too similar, too similar to that. Um, so I don't really know, but I feel like I drew more on experiences that I've seen my friends go through and people that I know mm -hmm. go through, through similar, similar experiences and, and drew from that. Yeah, I mean, I'm the same. I couldn't, I couldn't honestly relate to going off to an American college and meeting a, a charming British boy and falling in love. <laughs> But I think it was just stuff that my friends have gone through that, yeah. That helped you guys mm -hmm. relate to it, absolutely. Talk just about the uh, the friendships and the dynamics you guys have grown on set, because it seems like you all have bonded really well. Yeah. yeah. We were very lucky that I think all of the cast, just everyone gets along so honestly and genuinely. Yeah. And, and we're all the same age, which is great. I feel like a lot of films, pro people probably say, yeah, cast and crew is great, we all, we all get on, but like genuinely, Everyone involved in this, like we we are gonna see again and and, and we'll the remain pool friends. This afternoon. And, yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and having genuinely. that college age experience, I mean, you guys had a lot of fun. It looked like yeah, it was, there was some scenes which were pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which ones? But just the ones where all the cast was together, and it was like at like the bonfire thing. Yeah, there was one where we were at a bonfire. One where it was like the truth or dare scene. Yeah, just anything where we were all together. It was really fun. I dare you to make out with heart. Do you want to do this? Now you know everyone after they see this are going to want to know what's the next one, the next installment. Has Anna talked to you guys about that, where we go for her? Well, if people watch this movie, we get a second one. Mm -hmm. So we don't know yet. 
Yeah, I think it was pretty we'd good. We'd love to. We'll see. We would love see. to. Yeah.